Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you may be. I am Mezzo9, and welcome once again to my cellar mezzanine, where today it is my turn to play as Eve. So, let's get started on that. Eve is my favourite character. She's a very defensive character, despite how it may seem. High speed, low damage, both pretty defensive. Okay, um, this is no longer a defensive run. And this is one of my favourite items, the Ipecac. Boom! Don't need bombs anymore. Um, right, this is a sudden and powerful change that, as I've just illustrated quite well, is easy to uh, misuse quite dangerously. But, oh well, we're still alive, and that's what counts. And hopefully we'll be able to find half a heart or something somewhere so we can get into that curse room. But we'll see. And the curse room is pretty appropriate, because we are currently cursed. Um, well, we're always cursed as Eve. It's um, half the point, to be honest, because the curse is a pretty helpful thing, as long as you can keep yourself on half a heart. Which is easier to do as Eve as well, because she, for some reason, gets a bonus to um, getting spirit hearts. I don't know where that comes from, if that's an item or if it's just a thing, but look, spirit heart already. Um, I'd like to lose half a heart before I pick it up, so that I can get, like, permacurse. Ooh. What's in here? Okay. I'll come back for that, because I can. Right. Okay, I've got a plan now. A plan that should work as well. I can also bomb my way into the shop if I want to. Or, or, or rather, ipecac my way into the shop. I think I can. I think that the secret room is right here. Where the hell is the secret room? I've checked both those sides, right? Well and truly checked. So is it... it's not there. Is it from here somewhere randomly? This is strange. This is certainly very strange. Maybe I need to get. Uh, maybe it's to the left of the shop, and I need to be in the shop to get to it. Therefore, which is annoying because it means I need a key. But oh well, let's go to the curse room. Might be next to the curse room. That would be annoying to be honest. But okay. Um, the spiders are a bit of a worry because they are spiders, and I'm using Ipecac. And more spiders. Never mind then. Well, curse is active. I wonder how it works alongside Epicac. I don't think I've actually got both of them before in the same run. Nothing particular. So what the curse does is an increase in damage and um, speed. I believe it's varying multiplier depending on if you got it in that room, if you got it through the card, or if you've walked into the room with it active. But I think it's 1.5 something multiplier if you walk into the room with it active. Don't quote me on that. I'm not actually sure. It's been a long time since I looked it up. Right, let's hope we can keep this eternal heart in this fight. And as it is Larry Jr. And we have Ipecac. This should not be hard at all. Ah, oh, that was a tough fight. Well, normally I wouldn't pick up that um, heart on the floor. But, since we're going to be getting a lot of health as we go downstairs, I may as well. I'd like to have a few more coins by this point, really. So that I could, you know, um... Maybe find an arcade on the next floor, and the uh, temperance machine that comes alongside it. Yeah, I didn't think I could blast my way in, way in from here. Oh, fumbling words, too much caffeine. On that topic, let's head downstairs and take a sip of my coffee. And take the spoon out of my coffee! Have a go at me for it in the comment section below, it's the only way I'll learn. I put it with a spoon from yesterday, which I, have, I should probably put somewhere else so that I don't forget it's there again. Right, we've got a curse of darkness, that's awkward. But at least it won't make it any harder to find the secret room. Since we'll be checking pretty much everywhere anyway. Whether intentionally or not, it's not relevant. Oh, not one over. See, that's why it confuses me sometimes. It, sometimes it'll go over, sometimes it won't. I think it's like mid-range only that it'll go over the block. Um... I don't like spiders with Ipecac especially. I don't like spiders the best of times, but 
when you can't hit them at all. It's just annoying. There's our super secret. We want to get that spider kill before we go in there. And we've got a key there to get us into the um, bonus room. I'm tempted to leave that blue heart on the floor for now. Screw it, I'll take the extra defensive. Why not? I've got plenty of attack. I don't really need the curse form active. It doesn't seem to be doing much extra for me. Homing shots with Ipecac can be risky. Which makes this an interesting item to have on the pedestal. I'm going to take it because I don't have a spacebar item, but... I'm not sure if it's the best of plans. Maybe we'll get another spacebar item soon enough to replace it anyway. Maybe we won't. We'll just have to wait and see. Sorry about the popping there. Of course, it was not intentional, nor was that damage. There goes the spawner, there goes the spider, lovely. Let's just check the walls. Done. Money! Nothing better than money. Actually, there's a lot of things better than money, but... They can all be bought with money. Not all of them. A lot of them can't. I saw a list on Facebook the other day of things that money can't buy. Happiness was not on there. And let's face it, when you've got games like this for 199 happiness is bought. And cheaply at that. Right, uh, I'm going to go to the south for now. Uh, I'm just trying very hard to remember the map itself. Or I'm going to get very lost very soon. Nothing in the poops. Uh, that's... I can't get in there until I'm on one heart, which is risky. Maybe we'll get a nice deal with the devil on this floor, though. I've uh, managed to stay on blue hearts the entire time. Sure, I'll take a bit of healing. No reason not to at this point. And I can't get into that shop. Not without another key. But that's fine, because it gives us more chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Which would be very nice. It would um, be able to get us down to that half heart we want. Have I done this room? Yes, I have. Okay. Let's go see what boss we've got. Gertie Jr. Not happy with that at all, really. But the homing explosive shots should really quite help. Oh dear. That was bad damage on my part, but I managed to stay above blue hearts and get another deal with the devil. Uh, I'm up to five health for this deal as well. I don't know why I said another deal with the devil. It's my first deal with the devil. Now that is interesting. Perhaps after last time I should be a bit tentative about taking the um, dead cat. But when it comes alongside a nail, perhaps not. And also, I am playing as Eve. It's a good thing to be on half a heart. No, it's too risky. Too risky! I'm going to move along. But I'm happy with my nail. Uh, uh, there's not really anything else I can do up here, is there? Not short of taking two hearts of damage, which I could get away with. I think I could get away with it, for now, as long as I still have the healing available, which is why I didn't take the dead cat. Seriously? There we go. And in we go. Ooh, speed increase. Now, a lot of people don't like getting speed increases, especially as Eve. Personally, I love being nippy and running about the place. So let's get the um, nail, let's get the spoon, and let's get Monstro killed. And Larry should be much easier, to be honest. Lovely. We've just about got him down already. Which is another reason I love Ipecac. Oh, nearly got myself in there. There we go. Bit of healing already. I'm just going to wander about the floor, see if there's any more healing on the floor. We're pretty speedy now, so it's not going to take too long. I don't think there is any more healing, actually. I think I picked it all up as I um, came across it, because it was quite important to us at the times. Did not miss anything in here? New. No. Here? Nope. All right. Um, 
see if I have missed any healing anywhere. Now there's going to be people like screaming and shouting at me for missing it if anyone's watching. Um, no, I haven't missed any unless there's some in the boss room. All right, down we go with a sip of my coffee then. I mean, we've still got plenty of chances to get one heart of healing, and we're technically on full health with the um, blue heart included. Plus, with the blue heart included, we've still got good chances for deals with the devil, which is lovely. Especially with us um, kind of slaughtering everything as we pass. Oh yes, I've got the map back! Sorry, it took me a minute to um, consider looking at the map was an option again. I've been playing other games, see, quite a bit this morning. Ones that don't have maps. There we go. Easiest room full of the greed heads I've had in a long time. Now, I'm not going to just stroll in there. Oh, wait. Maybe I am. I was hoping that there might be a secret room there. I'm going to save my key for now. I'm quite happy with my current spacebar item. If there's a book of revelations in there, I'll use it once and put it back down. Cube of meat would be nice to get, though. And that's about all I do with anything that might be in that library, so I don't think there's really much point in me um, wasting a key on it just yet. Now, this is an interesting shot that I love making. Mostly because I love being able to make it. Normally you can't get them at all, really. Short of flight. Or the ladder. Uh, let's keep looking for the bonus room. There we go. Alright, a little bit of bad damage there, but it slaughtered the room at the same time, so it's all good enough for me. Um, still on blue hearts as well, so it's very much good enough for me. And there is the Sacrificial Dagger, I believe, which is um, a very powerful orbital. Of course I'm going to take it. Interestingly, it's the um, most recent unlock we've gotten as Eve. Might not be as interesting to you guys, but it's interesting to me. I didn't actually expect it to be there. I was just firing at random walls. Okay, I've got a lot of money now. I really do want to go to the shop if I can. Let's head out of here to the north, see what we've got. Oh, there's our boss room. Lovely to find. We've got some flyagonals, which are also pretty easy. Ooh, I have a nail charge. I may as well go fight the boss now. Shouldn't be too tough, whoever it is, and it is someone pretty easy, especially when you've got high damage. And area of effect. And poison. And down he goes. A range increase um, should be pretty helpful with Ipecac if it actually takes any effect, which it doesn't really seem to. Never mind then. You can still vault the shots. Actually, it looks like I can vault them further than I could before. I think I handled that one pretty well. Mostly accidentally, but nonetheless, I handled that one quite poorly, but shush. Leave me alone. I'm the one playing this. Let me play it. Haven't used a single bomb yet. It's because I haven't needed to, but it's not the point. Uh, what have we got in the shop? A nice um, item upgrade would be nice. The ladder's also nice. And you know what? I can afford everything. I won't take the bomb. It's useless to me. Wheel of Fortune is interesting. Uh, I'm going to hold on to it for now. Sorry, I'm popping the microphone again. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to the Wheel of Fortune for now, because I don't see it as immediately important to use, especially with the floor cleared. And as you might be able to see, I'm not bothering with the library anymore. Um, I haven't found a super secret room, so let's have a go at that. got a couple of ideas of where it might be, but none of them seem to be particularly likely. It's not going to be there. What am I thinking? Um, it might well be down here. Or here. No? Oh, it could also be over here? Hmm... How about out the back of here? Seriously? Give it another try. Because it doesn't look like it hit that accurately. Why am I shooting from so far away? No, nothing. 
Where the hell is the super secret room then? Is it off by the library? Is it behind the library? That would be annoying. I think it might be behind the library. Unless it's there. Can it be there? I don't think it can be there. Maybe it can be there, but I can't get into it if it is there. Okay, it's next to the library. That's not so annoying. And we've got our trinket, the push pin. Uh, one in ten shots will be spectral. Which has a tiny chance of coming in handy. Like, minute. In a room like that, perhaps. Really minute chance. I'd like to go to the library, but I don't feel it's that important, and I feel that um, saving the Wheel of Fortune for the next floor is more worthwhile, so I'm going to do that. And it's actually the next floor now, and I forgot to take my traditional sip of coffee because I was busy talking. Alright, let me talk. Alright, um, this is an interesting room. We should be able to handle it pretty easily. We've also uh, blasted our way into the center. There we go, everything's dead, but nothing spawned for us item-wise. Oh well. No secret room there. Let's head off this way. Oh. These guys can be pretty nasty with Epicac, because sometimes they're a bit hard to hit. The faster ones are worst, but I've got plenty of speed, so I should be alright. There we go. I'm just going to um, out and back in to get rid of that fly over there. And is there a secret room up there? Yes! Alright then, what have we got? We've got the Ankh. I'm not going to take it, because while it is exceptionally good as Eve, this is why we have to play this as Eve again, because last time I completed Sheol as Eve, I did it as Ank Eve, and so it counted as a blue baby win. So I'm not taking the Ank. And if you disagree with that ideal, it's your problem, not mine. The moon card is interesting, mostly for the fact that it's appeared right here, and we can therefore make some exceptional use of it. What are these pills, though? Bombs are key, that's pretty awesome, to be honest. And um, I'm going to not bother with the other one. I don't want to leave that right way, because I don't know what's out there. And I want to pick up my tarot card. Which isn't vital, but it's a good tarot card. I could also make a few plays on the um, blood bank. I'm not going to do that just yet, but perhaps soon. Sorry, popping again. I'm going to use the yeah, perfect room to use this, to be honest. Because we've got a lot of blocks in our way that we can just knock down. Now, No, you were not meant to come back over this way. That's not how it works. It's not how you're meant to play, Mr. Explosive Fly Majigger. Alright, we've got eight keys now, so we can certainly get in here. Oh, greed. We can get in here, but was it worth it? Now, I'm not taking much damage anymore, which is nice. And also, there's another spirit heart. So yes, I think I'm happy to walk around on half a red heart. Which means... It's time to get cursed. I had a lot of money in the process. Not that we need a lot of money now that we've got the Steam sale, but we still do have this uh, Wheel of Fortune card, which I still haven't used yet. Might be making good use of it soon enough. And here comes our curse. Lovely. I'm going to leave that standing. If I pick up any healing, I could always um, turn it into more money. And more chances of getting blood bag. Which would... um. Aside from anything else, give us a speed upgrade and um, more money to spend in deals with the devil. Which we're still likely to get. Because we're still running on blue hearts primarily. Okay, if I just out and back in, they'll be gone. Ta-da! Right. Um, right. I don't like flies, but I've got a good aggressive orbital. As I just made nice use of there. And another key for us. Uh, off to the right seems like a good plan right now. And here's our boss room. Not that I want to go in there yet. That's it, dead bad. You get him. I'll get the other one. Ta-da! Okay. 
I guess we'll explore one more room, then go fight the boss. We haven't found the bonus room yet this floor. Never mind. Yeah, that had to happen, really. I didn't have too much choice in that matter. Now, we're kind of hoping for an easy boss, but it doesn't really matter that much, because Ipecac. And you're more at risk with Ipecac of killing yourself than other people killing you. Ooh. Halo of Flies is a nice little defensive bonus. Which I'm happy to take into the boss fight with me. As, as, uh, uh, as well as this nail use. Which will uh, make me significantly more powerful in the fight. Just checking for the super secret room. I don't think it is over there after all. But one more try. No. Okay. I'll have a look for it after the boss fight. And another look for it, rather. Hopefully we'll be getting a um, deal with the devil here, although this is a peep variant, which I'm not too happy about. Let's um, get the nail active. I'm really not keen on peep. But with high damage and poison damage as well... Oh, bugger it. I should be able to win this nonetheless, without taking any red hearts. Good enough, but not a good enough one for a deal with the devil. But we can feed these um, red hearts into the machine for more money. Not that we particularly need it anymore. So right, we'll um, run about with health for a minute. Because I think that's the safer option. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a few more spirit hearts. Sorry, I'm popping the mic again. Well, I'm blowing the mic more than popping it there, really. But you know what I mean. Sorry, a bit of tricky manoeuvring had to be happening there. Hence the uh, silence while I did so. Let's keep going. We've got an arena up there. That's interesting. I should be able to get in on my current health as well. What's this? Unknown pills. <gasps> For some reason, I... Th I, 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 I used a set of pills without playing Guess the Pills. I'm sorry about that, folks, but we'll play Guess the Pills on this one at least. So, place your own bets in the comment section below as to what you think these pills may do. I'm going to guess that they are balls of steel, because it would be lovely. And I'll be using them in three, two, one. Pills! Oh, I got it right. I think last time I got it right, I shouted pills as I did it as well. Right, that's a new tradition. I've decided. If it's annoying, tell me in the comment section below. Okay, what have we got? in the chest. I think it's actually a better trinket for us than the um, one we had. What was the one we had? Push pin. Thank you for telling me. Basically what the left hand does is makes more red chests appear, uh, but it's not really gonna be useful in combat or anything like that, but neither was the pushpin, really. And you can get better things from red chests, such as spirit hearts. You can also get worse things from red chests, such as spiders and troll bombs. But cat items, teleport to the deal with the devil. Lots of nice things can come from red chests. Now, I've got 30 coins. Well, I'm certainly going to have an um, arcade on the next floor. But I will be able to get more of one, or, or more use out of one, if I do this first. And then we can blow you up. Money! That's a lot of money. 40 coins? Money equals power would be lovely right now. Except it wouldn't, because I've got Ipecac, and, you know, you've got enough strength once you've got Ipecac. Amazing to have gotten it on the first floor. Oh. I'm a little fast now, aren't I? Oh well, down we go. And sip of coffee, as is tradition, as we go down to the depths part one. I was trying to use the power of positive thinking there, but we did end up on an Acropolis nonetheless. <laughs> Didn't see the fly, but thankfully my uh, sacrificial dagger did. I'm going to leave those hearts there until I find a temperance machine. Uh, let's keep heading south for now. Oh, perhaps not. Sloth, my epicac is better than yours. 
Mine has poison. Simple as that. Uh, two of diamonds, really? Alright, I'll take 82 coins, I'm fine with that. <coughs> My voice is going all squeaky now, but it's just out of surprise more than anything else. Certainly not, not being fine with it. And I kind of want to use this now. Despite there being very little left to the room, I want the spirit hearts. Would you please get hit? Thank you. Right, what have we got in here? Okay. I'll put my money in. I'm happy with that. No, I don't want more money. I want useful things like spirit hearts and keys. And, um, pills. Health isn't really what I wanted and I didn't really mean to pick it up, but now I may as well. I think I'm going to go down to 65 coins. I don't know why 65. No, no, I'm going to go down to 80 coins. So I pretty much used two coins there. And um, that's certainly a worthwhile uh, trade. A valuable trade. I'll uh, get back to full health since I've got the opportunity to. And let's go find this boss because I'm feeling pretty up for the boss compared to how up for these masks I'm feeling. Nonetheless, the masks were pretty easy. And what boss would I like to be seeing at this point, really? Uh, I'm not too keen on any of the Necropolis bosses, to be honest. I suppose war would be kind of nice, because I've got the speed to run away from them at the end, and I've got plenty of damage. Um, needless to say, Mask of Infamy would be a very bad thing. Although it looks like I might be able to handle them all right with my... um dodge capabilities. I'm going to just march in there. Oh, no, I want to get a charge on my nail first. But that shouldn't take too long. Oh, didn't actually expect that to be there, and that is the tick which I'm just going to leave there. Because I don't want it. It's actually kind of a hindrance once you've got the curse. Not that it isn't a hindrance to start with by blocking out the potential to get any other items, but it's more of one once you've got the curse. Abel is interesting. I'm not going to turn him down. I'm just going to comment that he's interesting. So for those of you that haven't seen him before, Abel uh, fires in the opposite direction to you, pretty much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. No! I didn't mean to open that. I never told you to open that. Why'd you open that? Me. At least it means I can just run through the middle of that room now. Oh. These guys are nasty. They explode in your face. Of course you should know that by now anyway. We've seen plenty of them before. Just going to ignore the spiders and move out. Oh, more spiders. Um, I don't like this very much at all. Oh, thank you, uh, Sacrificial Dagger. Let's see if we can vault one far enough. There we go, lovely. Ooh, spirit heart. And we've also got a charge on the nail. Yet to take any red heart damage on this floor, despite it being an Acropolis. So, uh, let's head into the boss fight with five spirit hearts. And if we can come out of it on three and three or more, and um, get a deal with the devil, we could get anything we want. And it is war, which is what I did say I was hoping for. Let's just stay away from those bombs. Lovely. Uh, if I could hit him, it would be nice. Okay, he has got more health than I realised. Uh, I expected him to be going down quite a bit quicker than that, but he's not. At least the room's clear now. Not that it uh, wasn't really for me to start with, with the nail and the ladder. Every room is pretty much clear, if I've got the nail used. How oh, would you stop running away? I only want to kill you. Okay, this is a nasty one, isn't it? Oh, he's doing it again. Okay, he caught me, but... Not too badly, and now he's on the, um... Runny abouty form. Plus, the dead bird is now chasing him as well. Um, this is actually harder than I was expecting it to be. If I can loop him back into the dead bird or the sacrificial dagger, both did the job there quite nicely, and we've got him poisoned. Come on. There we go, caught him. Sacrificial Dagger is turning out to be incredibly helpful for this fight. 
again, he's faster than I expected him to be, so... Um, also, I'm not curse form, which probably wasn't helping. Right, we've got another orbital. Of course, we already had a full sweep, but it's more of an orbital upgrade. And we can very much take both of them. I'm not sure I'll hang on to Guppy's paw. But I will use it to um, get down to one heart. Sister Maggie, not really actually that useful. Yeah, I'm going to spirit heart it up. Actually, if I did that again, now I should be permanently on curse form. Lovely. Well, let's go take on the rest of this floor. With my super nippiness. Whoop. 83 coins. Bloody hell. I'm never going to spend all of them in one floor. Two floors, because I've got the shop on this floor still as well. Okay, that was bad damage. Oh, no. Uh, let's just uh, stay out of bad damage if I can. Oh, I thought he was going to get me there, but he didn't. So that run went pretty poorly, but we've got the shop now. With a compass and a set of pills. I'm not sure what the pills will do. Let's get both anyway. Oh, it's balls of steel. That's lovely. That's much needed. And the compass. Which will show us where things are. Which is nice. Right, we've got a curse room and an arena down there. We can go to both. And we'll just um, blast through this way to get there. Shortcut. Now, I haven't done any looking for the super secret room yet on this floor. Which I should probably... Oh, I expected enemies in here. I really shouldn't walk into a room and immediately shoot, though, because I do risk hurting myself quite badly there. Not sure if a red chest is worth... Oh, of course it's going to be a red chest. I've got the left hand. Not sure if it's worth it, though. Maybe I'll get another guppy item, because there's still red chests in the other rooms as well. Okay, I, that was some bad damage. That was the tough wave here, really. Although, I might have problems with the uh, wave 3. I believe it's the uh, blood and guts guys that get back up again. I know. These guys I should have no problems with. With my explosive attack. Boom! Dead. Right. Let's head in here now. See what we've got. Two chests. Nothing good. And move along. Oh, we have found the super secret room on this floor already. Never mind. I guess that all that's left to do then is head on downstairs with a sip of my coffee. Don't forget we're going to Sheol on this run, not the cathedral. So, um... We kind of want some more, uh, short-range sort of attacks to help us with the... Devil once we get to him. But we'll think about that when the time is closer. So, downstairs with my traditional sip of coffee. And I'm actually going to refill my mug at this point. Because I've got the pot upstairs with me for once. So yeah, I'm just going to be stood here for just a few moments longer as I sugar my coffee. I'm not going to stir it until... Oh, I may as well stir it now as well. Enjoy the um, sound of my voice for a moment because there's not really much going on on screen. And I should really be talking over the stirring as much as I can. Alright. Sorry about all of that. Who knows, you might get lucky and I feel the need to cut it out. I could actually do that, potentially. Uh, I'm not sure I've got the time with the um, higher quality. I'm not sure if it's even coming out higher quality, because I don't notice these things. I don't personally care about these things. So I, I'm not very good at telling the difference anyway. I knew this was greed in here, I wasn't expecting super greed, but sure. I should be able to handle him nonetheless. Maybe I'll get a quarter. Yep, I got the quarter. Well, it would be nice to be able to spend three more coins right now, but... Fine. Fine. Matchstick is interesting, but I don't need bombs, so I'll leave it there. Um... We don't have the potential to take red heart damage, really, do we? May as well go in here now, then. 
Troll Bombs. Not been getting great luck from Kerstrums this run, but there's still a few flaws in which that could change. Two Larrys in one shot. Uh, let's head north. We want to head for the bonus room first. It's our primary worry, concern, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is actually a kind of tricky room for us. Because guts aren't exactly predictable. I'm going to use that and uh, make sure to make as much use of it as I can for the spirit hearts. Even if it is kind of useless to us. But yeah, there were a lot of guts and they were hard to hit at moments. Oh, bloody hell, walked into me an explosion. Ah! I don't like this room. Never do. Everything dodges too well except me in this room. There we go. Two of clubs, doubles my bombs. Absolutely pointless to me, so may as well just use it now. And let's head on towards the se bonus room. Not secret. We've already done the secret room. Um, I don't like this room. At all. Because, uh, But of course, the um, rule is, once one's down, they're easy. Or at least easier. And of course, there's just the one left now. The bird should be able to... Um, Get him down to a killable position, please. Pretty please. Let's um actually get them closer together at moments. I can just stand here and not be able to get hit. Oh well, moving on. Uh, zombie mask dudes are easy. I need to find a better name for these guys. And for some reason, I want to call them Stoneface. So, from now on, I will be calling them Stonefaces. Perhaps I'll forget by the next episode, but probably not, because the next episode is going to be today. So, yeah. Yeah, I want to blow up the fires, but I do also want to take um, Scapula. Okay, Scapula will be fine without blowing up the fires, then. Scapula alongside the curse is a brilliant thing. And, um... Scap here alongside the dead bird is a brilliant thing. However, it requires me to be on ridiculously low health to make use of it. Um, I can't really dodge in here at all. Ah! Many hearts. Many hearts of many hurts. Many hurts to many hearts. Whatever you want to say, whichever way round you want to say it. My heart has received many hurts in that room. And in life. But that's beside the point. Um, boom that wall. Nothing. Anarchist cookbook. Useless. Back to the nail. And we want to head towards the shop next. Because 99 coins. I don't think there's going to be anything we can't afford. 99 coins and the steam sale. I don't think there's going to be anything we can't afford. Um, again, nasty room. But we can make it through it. We'll be fine. Dead bird, go get him. Thank you. There we go. That'll do. Next room we're going to use our nail. Not a particularly hard room, but we did take damage to the um, uh, due to the time taken to change form. And I didn't really want to walk into that there. But killed it nonetheless. We're doing okay. We're not doing amazingly right now. Not like we were back on the first floor, but we're doing okay. Um, no sign of the super secret yet, but we've got a lot of space left to explore. We've got a blue brick over there, which is going to give me some more spirit hearts. Maybe even a small rock, although not really needed anymore. Oh, golden key is nice. Bombs, not so much, but meh. I suppose I could always use them against um, certain bosses. Certain bosses that don't respond well to bombs. Or do respond well, depending on your outlook. Or whatever email program you use. Outlook is email, right? I don't know. I don't use Microsoft stuff very often. <laughs> I use their operating systems. They're pretty good, but... It's not really relevant. I don't want the... Want the, um... I'm, I'm going to buy it just to get it out of the item pool, to be honest, because I've got plenty of money for that sort of thing. But I really don't want the notched axe. It is terrible. 
And um, that's a shame, because it's a Minecraft reference, and I love Minecraft. But that's not really relevant once more. I'm saying a lot of irrelevant things today. Relevancy is an issue for me. So let's um, check there for the super secret. It's not there, but oh well. Let's head north and check up there for the super secret as well, before we head the rest of the way to the boss room. Uh, there, thank you. There we go. And I will take the Ace of Spades over the left hand. It's a uh, very good trinket. More tarot cards is the big deal with it. Through here we've got some more masks. Stone faces. Stone face is. Bring it, stone face. Yeah, boom. I cheered a little early because I could see it was going to hit. Alright. Oh, guts. Gutsy enemies. And that was some seriously bad damage on my part. <laughs> that was almost embarrassing. Oh well. We'll get over it. Oh. Oh, the bub bub the bub bub. Ah. Alright, we've got a charge just in time for the boss fight. Let's go kill Mum. Break these rocks quickly, just so I can move about. Let's poison the... Ah, oh, oh, screw you for hitting me. But at least it's got the dead bird out now. Okay, um... Of course this fight is going to be chaotic. I always forget that part of it. Still, we've got the health going down pretty swiftly. I couldn't see if that actually hit me or not there, but apparently it did. I didn't hit her there either, but... Okay, got, got a couple of good hits in there. Uh, come on. No, don't hit myself. Oh, those things are nasty, but it's gone now. Don't even know what they're called, because they're so rare. Oh, yes! <coughs> so a usually stressful mum fight. A tears upgrade is nice to get, I suppose. And we'll head down to the womb with a sip of my coffee. And my coffee cup nudging the microphone quite nicely. Very, very sorry about that. Let's try from a different angle, because I want more coffee still. Slurp. Nothing quite so delicious as a bit of caffeine in a cup. If I ever start a um, coffee chain store, that's what it's going to be called. Cafe uh, caffeine in a cup. I'm quite happy with that name for a cafe, perhaps. I think it's a very self-explanatory name, to be honest, and sounds nice to, to go alongside it. I like it. I like it very much. Well... What have we got in this? It's a golden chest. We could go in there. I don't think we've really got any other use for our keys anymore. But the fighting might be tough. I think it should be bosses by this point, and most of the early bosses are pretty easy for me by this point. Larry's. No problem. Ah! Screw you, Larry. Chub. Shouldn't be a problem. Might be. We also got the stars card there, which is kind of useless at this floor, but maybe not. Maybe it's not entirely useless. I think we've got one more boss after this as well. I'm worried about who that might be. Double Monstro. And I didn't mean to pick up the tarot card in the middle of a fight, forcing me to take some really bad damage. I'm on low health. Crap. Look how low my health has gotten all of a sudden. Right. We need to um, really pull our finger out now. I say we, it's me, but it's not the point. Don't I have the compass? Oh, right, the bottom is all the way down there. I guess that's where we should be aiming at this point. 
because really the floors themselves are kind of harder than the mosses by this point. I'm going to grab the Wheel of Fortune over in this corner, see if we can get some spirit hearts out of it. I've got plenty of money for that. So um, this might take a while. Half time to break up the recording for it. I'm not going to, just to show that, you know, if I get a dozen spirit hearts out of nowhere, just to prove that I'm not cheating. I don't like being accused of cheating, so I don't like to make it particularly possible for people to accuse me of cheating. I don't cheat, it takes all the fun out. Pretty fly at this point in the game is pointless, because I already had two flies and one of them was already hidden. Now I've got three flies with two hidden, and... You know, even if I do get my cube of meat up to level 3, I'll still have the sacrificial dagger, so we'll still have a hidden fly, no matter what happens. <sighs> Another pretty fly? Pills, tarot cards, blue hearts. Keys are alright as well. Thank you, dead bird. I was worried about how I was going to handle that. Ooh, pills. Well, do I know these pills? No! Alright, brand new set of pills. I'm gonna be a pessimist and guess at bad trip pills. Place your own bets as to what you think these pills may do in the comment section below, and I will be using them in three, a two, and a one. Bad gas! Well, I've got the bad part right. And at least now we know that they're in the rotation, I might be able to make some use of them if we see any more in the future. I could really do with some sort of health increase. Health up pills would be wonderful now. Not so much earlier on, but now, yeah. Don't just blow yourself up then, fine. If you must, you must. The chariot card is interesting. Could make some good use of that. The stars card, not so much. I'll take the chariot card then. And let's just head down towards the boss now. Ooh, I will blow up as many red bricks as I can, because they could be blue bricks in disguise. And I may as well try and find the secret room. You know, if I'm passing it, I don't want to miss it. There we go. can also skip out a few rooms using this. Potentially. Hopefully it'll um, keep me on the right track. Okay. can get that chest, no problem. And it's got me another tarot card. What have we got? The world! I'm going to use that right now. I want to see the map. Okay. Now I see where I, where I need to go, should be pretty easy to get there. Getting there alive, on the other hand, is a different matter, as you can probably see right now. I do still have scapula, I think. I did get scapula this one, right? Yeah, there it is. Cool. Hopefully the cursor isn't in your way anymore. Or wasn't to start with, really. And that was terrible. Oh. I didn't see that tarot card drop, I didn't... Uh, where did that tarot card come from? And why did I stop while being fired out with a laser to pick it up? <clears throat> well, I guess that's that then. Uh, best combo, I'm going to put down to Curse, Ipecac, Sacrificial Dagger. Yeah, Curse, Ipecac, Sacrificial Dagger. Oh, dead bird. Curse, Ipecac, Sacrificial Dagger, Dead Bird. Best combo for the run. No new items this run, unfortunately, but maybe we'll um, see something new next time. And aside from that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this Eve run. There will be a Samson run coming out later today. And uh, I hope to see you all again for that. Don't forget to subscribe for more daily Binding of Isaac runs, as well as the Minecraft and the Wars Hack and the other things that are going to be coming out over the course of this week, hopefully. Uh... And hopefully I'll see you all again. Bye!